What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Logistical Styles coming at you with another video. And today we're gonna to do a really quick video and it's gonna be discussing how to get your mixes up on a platform for customers to be able to hear you. If they wanna hire you, they may wanna hear what you sound like, what mixes you have available, or you may be interested in just spreading your name out and using it as a way to promote yourself and to get other people to follow you, or you can lastly use it as a way to sit back and listen to your mixes afterwards so you can critique yourself, you can listen to any mistakes or listen to any really good mixes that you may have done. It's just a really good way to have a record of your skills as a DJ. Um, I used to do this a little bit more frequently, but I kind of, I really did slack off and I found that even though I'm able to get on Twitch from time to time, it's just easier for me to sit down or come into the studio and hit record and do a 30 or an hour long mix and upload it really quickly. The problem a lot of people have is they don't know, necessarily know which platform to use and they don't always know how to get the track listing and the timestamps available for people to be able to find songs or move throughout songs. So what I use is, the platform I use is Mixcloud. Mixcloud is a really great um, program, or not program, but a platform that allows you to upload your mixes and it allows you to take the track listing from your Serato playlist and use that to accurately uh, track out and tag your mixes. So what we're gonna do right here is just jump into, um, we're gonna start off in Serato, we'll look in the history, and then we'll um, walk through the steps of how to upload the playlist to Serato playlist and then how to use that page that has your Serato playlist, how to use that to populate your, um, your playlist on Mixcloud. And then lastly, how to share it to your friends and family and social media. So let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you using a screen recording how this works out. Let's just jump over into Serato DJ Pro. So I just hit the record button to end the recording. Uh, it is, I just named it. I named it Clean Hip Hop Mix and today's date. So now I'm gonna hit save. And when I hit save, you can see on the bottom that it's writing tags. It's putting this recording into my user folder, my documents, and there's an AIF file, which is the mix. So it just wrote that and put it in that location. So that's important information you'll need to know when you wanna upload it to Mixcloud. So now what I wanna do is, let's switch over. Well, nope, what I wanna do is I wanna upload this mix to Serato. So I'm gonna go into history. I'm gonna look at today's mix. Today I just did this mix, it started. Uh, sometimes it doesn't always put the correct songs in there. It may add a song that you didn't really include in your recording, so you can always highlight it, hit uh, control delete, and that will remove it. I like to clean up my playlist a little bit because uh, it just helps you when you go over to mix cloud or when you go really to uh, Serato. So now this is the mix itself. An important thing you have to remember is to highlight the mix itself, not the songs inside the mix. Highlight the mix, the, the one that has the, today's date. When you come down a little bit and you see the export function, you can choose what format you want to export it to. Mine is already set to Serato playlist, but it gives you a couple of options such as exporting it to a text file, a CSV file, or this M3U file. I'm not really sure what that is, but um, I always use Serato playlist because what it will do is it will send it to the Serato website and each user, if you have a user account on the Serato website, which you most likely do since you need it to uh, log into your Serato software, when you go in, you'll see that there is a playlist section and that's where you can upload and people can view your playlist to see what you're playing, you know, based on your area or what type of environment you were in. Were you in a club? Were you in a radio? Were you at home just making a mix? You can put all that information in on your uploaded playlist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and hit export and it's gonna open up a web browser and you will see the playlist that is available for upload, which is the one I just did. Uh, right now, if I click on continue, this will bring me into the playlist itself and I can see the songs that it's showing. 
it does a pretty decent job of getting rid of duplicates when i dj especially if i'm just using one deck and i'm doing instant doubles a lot of times it will show multiple entries for the same song and you have to go through and clean it up here but it looks like this is all pretty correct this was just a short mix about 30 minutes long right now it's not public this right now this playlist is private only you can see it and only serato they can see it but anybody visiting your profile won't see this mix until you go in and you edit your details for the mix here you can make it public which is visible to everyone you can put in your dj name which i'm going to do right here then you can name it right now the default name is the date but i'm going to put clean hip hop mix and i'll leave the start time alone it will populate the genres based on how those songs you played in your mix are labeled so that looks pretty correct if you want to add something you can add a genre you can put a little uh short blurb about your mix describing what it is i'm not going to do that right now and then there is a a window for your listen link now this is where we're gonna have to come back to right now we're just gonna make it public and put the uh, put the information up there but we'll have to come back and then edit this track list so we can put the listen link which is coming from Mixcloud uh, the environment is home change my environment my country just because gives people some kind of a idea of what DJs in Atlanta are playing or this particular DJ. So I'm gonna save it and now the playlist is public and people can see it. Now, if I wanted to, I could also change the artwork for this. I'm not gonna go in through all that, but you know, really I, I, I just put my logo up there a lot of times. Now that you have that done, if you wanted to, or if there was something wrong with the way the tracks were listed, you could go into edit track list and you can hide if there was like a duplicate or something like that, you could hide it or whatever, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna cancel that. So now my next move is to go over to Mixcloud. So I already have it open here, Mixcloud. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to, let's see, this is, a page from when I was attempting to upload. I'm gonna get out of that. I'm gonna upload a show. Let's hit create, upload show. I may have to back out of it. Yeah, okay. So it was still holding on to when I was trying to initially show you a pre recorded mix. You see my old mixes up there. So I'm gonna change that file. And I wanna go to the file I just created, which is clean hip hop mix. It's already jumping to the correct folder where I save my mixes because I've done this a couple of times and it usually reverts back to the last place you saved. But if you had to, you could navigate to where your mix is. So I'm gonna choose that clean hip hop mix and click open and give it a little time to upload the file. I'm going to name it, same thing. I already have named it clean hip hop mix. Today is 8, 19, And I'll confirm that name. So it's still uploading. You can see it's telling you how, many, how much time you have remaining. I always recommend people do this over um, a hard wire. You get a much quicker upload, but because I'm using all my USB ports and I don't have the adapter to plug in the ethernet, I'm just going over wire, Wi-Fi. So it's gonna take me a few minutes for that to upload. But in this time, you can put in another description of your mix. Um, this is a clean, current, and recurrent hip hop mix. You can put your genres and your tags in it. As you start typing, it will give you suggestions. So I put in hip hop, so now I can choose a little bit more specifically what kind of hip hop this is. It's a lot of different subgenres of hip hop, but I'm just gonna go with plain old hip hop. Maybe put a little Afro beat because there was a little Afro beat, Afro pop in there. And 
maybe a throwback. I added some Master P in there, so that was kind of a throwback. All right. And I'll just hashtag it. So that's cool. You can either put a regular tag in for the genre or you can put a custom tag in. I'm going to go with throwback mix. And those things actually do mean a little bit because they put you into certain um, charts and different playlists or they suggest to listeners. So kind of want to accurately tag yourself and put yourself in the right genre. And then they do also kind of give you some statistics to tell you where you are in the throwback charts so i think the one i posted up two days ago or yesterday was i woke up this morning and i had an email that said congratulations you're number 80 in the 90s throwback charts so it was just all based on the mix i did another thing you can do is you can upload and some custom artwork for that now i don't recommend really doing custom artwork for your serato playlist but i think i may just use canva canva.com t-a-n-v-a.com and you can go and you can quickly and easily create uh, graphics to put on your your uh, mixes and other stuff youtube thumbnails Facebook posts, all that. That's what I use. I use Canva.com. Not a paid endorsement, but it's just what I use. As you can see, the uh, upload has completed and it automatically grabbed my logo from previous mixes that I uploaded. But now here's the important part. The track list and the timestamp. It's very important, in my opinion, that you should put your track list up there with the timestamps because as a listener, you really want to be able to jump around and see how certain transitions were made. Or you might just want to skip a song or whatever. You might want to just see what songs are in the mix. So I highly recommend it, but it can be tedious if you want to start typing stuff in. But what makes this so great, the integration with Serato is if you scroll down, you have the opportunity to import from a Serato playlist, a Tractor playlist, or a cue sheet. I'm not sure where you would get your cue sheet from, but it's cool that Tractor does allow you to export your playlist as well, and it can be used with this platform. But we're going to go with the Serato playlist. So if I click on there, it's going to pull up this window and ask me to put the URL from my Serato playlist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch back over to where that Serato playlist is, which is this one. And all you gotta do is come up to the top, highlight your URL. I'm doing Control C to copy it. Switching back over to Mixcloud. And I'm just gonna paste it with a Control V, put it there. And when I do import, bam. All my songs and the timestamps with the artist name are there and it's all coming from Serato Playlist, which pulls from the playlist you up, up, uploaded from your Serato session. So that's really cool that people can actually go through and see the songs and where they are. And you can edit it if you want, if things got out of whack. But between the uh, uh, playlist that you upload from Serato Playlist and the AI, that reads the music and sees the changes, it's able to properly timestamp it. You can see where the changes happen. So that's really, really cool right there. Um, from here, you can choose who to publish it to. You wanna publish it right away, or you wanna have a release, timed release of your publishing, or do you wanna make it visible to everyone? Do you wanna make it visible to a certain crowd, but you'll notice when I hover over these options, it's only available if you have the pro um, subscription, which I don't. I just have the regular free one. And that's all I really need. If I wanna let somebody hear my mixes, I can always just give them a link to my profile on Mixcloud, or I can send them a link to a specific uh, mix. So from here, you can either choose to publish it to Facebook by checking this box, or you can just hit publish and then now the mix is publicly available. It's got all your um, track list there and people who follow you will be alerted. They'll get emails or little messages that pop up on their devices that say you've just uploaded a mix. So there it is, quick and easy. It's a real good way to promote yourself and a real good way to let customers hear what you sound like. So I figured this would be a good video uploading your mixes to Mixcloud and using Serato Playlist to allow you to save time by not having to type in every song, title, artist, and timestamp.
So with that said and done, I'm thinking we're gonna wrap this up. Hopefully this wasn't too long of a video. I'm trying to keep them in a nice little comfortable sweet spot so it doesn't get too overbearing to watch 20 or 30 minutes of video. But keep on the lookout for the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like and share the video. Comment, let me know if this is something that you use. So let's keep the conversation going. So until next time, this is your boy Logistical Styles and I am out.